What's up guys, my name is Mike of Coed Gaming, and today we're gonna do a fun video, nothing angry, and there really aren't a lot of updates for me to go through as far as news or anything like that, but if something pops up in the days to come, I will most definitely cover it. However, today is just gonna be a chill out day, and I figure, what better way to chill out on this channel than to look at some Project Diva. Today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Project Diva F on PS3 and Project Diva Arcade Future Tone, which as you all know will be coming to PS4 sometime next year. We're going to take one song called Senbon Zakura and we're going to take the videos and put them side-by-side -side and compare them to see which one looks the best. This is going to allow the viewers at home, as well as anyone who's looking into getting into the Project Diva series, to decide whether or not they want to invest in the PS3 version or just wait for the PS4 version. With that said, let's get started. Alright, so as the song starts up, the first thing you'll notice is that the pinwheels in the PS3 version are multicolored, where in the arcade version they're just red. I'm not sure why they went with that, but another thing that you're going to notice immediately is the smoothness of the arcade version over the PS3 version. I mean, having them side by side, it really becomes clear that the PS3 version is only running at 30 frames per second, when the arcade version is running at 60. Also, notice the fact that the arcade version casts a shadow, where the PS3 version has no shadows at all. In addition to that, the suit that Miku was wearing reflects light a lot more vibrantly. I mean, look at the sun reflecting off of Rin and Len here. It's virtually non-existent in the PS3 version. Once again, there's that shadow, and the bricks on the wall have almost no life to them in the PS3 version. They look bland. They look like someone just drew them with a crayon. The light reflecting off the guillotine is also worth noting. The fact that there's a lot of quick cuts here makes it a little bit difficult to pinpoint individual things that are different, but another thing that I just noticed, notice the things hanging off of Miku's arms. They tend to move a lot more fluidly on the arcade version than on, in the PS3 version. The design doesn't really matter because you can just change the outfit at any time you want. But it is worth noting that the physics of Miku's hair and her clothing is a lot more apparent. Look at the shadows! Kaito doesn't even cast a shadow. Mako doesn't even cast a shadow. Uh, look at the, look at the wall. Look at the floor, the cobblestone. Again, the light reflecting off is a big thing. Also, look at the little pom-pom thing that Miku's holding. It moves a lot more fluidly here. Okay, look, look right here. The thing on Luca's arm, it hangs on her leg, where in the PS3 version, it didn't. See, this is what I'm talking about when I say that the arcade version is so much better than the PS3 version. And that's why I'm so excited for the PS4 version. I mean, if we're looking at this realistically, if the PS4 version is going to be an exact copy of the arcade, basically what we're looking at here is the PS3 version on the left, and the soon-to-be PS4 version on the right. Now, you can go back and rewind and pause any moment you want to look at individual things that talk about how, you know, the arcade version, whether it's lighting effects or, and Luca just fell, or, you know, high-resolution textures. What's worth noting is that even though the PS4 version of Arcade Future Tone is going to run 1080p 60 frames per second. Believe it or not, the arcade version only runs at 720p 60 frames per second. So that means that the that the home version, the PS4 version of Arcade Future Tone, is actually going to look better than what we're seeing on the right here. Another thing I want to mention as the song comes to a close, if you if you go cross-eyed basically and look at each video one at a time, you know, like train your left eye on the PS3 version and your right eye on the PS4 version, or rather the arcade version, you'll really notice how choppy the PS3 version is next to the next to the arcade version. I mean, 30 frames on its own isn't choppy by default, but if you're staring at it next to 60 frames, it really becomes apparent that something is up here. But with all that said, the PS4 version is definitely, in my opinion, going to be the better version. Take it easy, guys. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to check out last week's video, which can be found right here. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And while you're at it, 
make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming, where we upload gaming videos every single week. And as always, game on.